Uh, we should be here talking about a Ronaldo hat trick. We should be here talking about positive things, I suppose. About we won a game, but that's not Manchester United at the moment, is it? It's a club that's embroiled in just frustration, anger, and there it really boiled over there with what happened to Paul Pogba during this game between Man United and Norwich. And I've really got to speak about it. You can't ignore it. If you didn't see it, here's another video of it from a different angle from the top of the Stretford end when Paul Pogba was booed as he walked off the pitch after the game. And it wasn't the only time during the game that it happened. That it happened when he was taken off as well. Chance of fuck off Pogba. What's your reaction to it? Because I want to, as I said, it feels like I've, I should say something on it. And I have to say something on it because Ralph Radnick's reaction was this, right? This is what the boss said. He said, I didn't hear, but I was told after the game, I can totally understand the fans being frustrated, but I don't think they should be targeting players individually. This is not right or fair. So that's what he's saying there about Paul Pogba. But this whole Pogba situation, man, it's been going on for so long. I don't agree with the idea that... I, I just don't really agree with Boone. I think, it's, I think it's a bit fucking weird, if I'm being completely honest. And Pogba being booed there, he was scapegoated. Every single other player on that pitch, bar Ronaldo and De Gea, they deserved to be booed just as much as Pogba. But with Pogba, the difference is, and the reason why it's Pogba, is we're at the end of the tether. Fans are at the end of the tether. He's about to walk away for free for the second time at the club. That's not his fault. That's Manchester United and our poor contracts. Or the fact that he didn't want to sign the contract. And as United fans, I think we feel like we've been played a little bit by Pogba at the same time. The, th the thing that makes this so difficult to speak about, the thing that makes it so hard is there's so many different sides, not different sides to the story, but you can understand Paul Pogba being frustrated at United today. He played as a defensive midfielder. He's played, been messed around. He has been messed around. He's hardly got a role at the club. But at the same time, every fan has every reason and every justification to be frustrated at Paul Pogba. Brilliant, fleeting moments. Overall, an extremely frustrating return to Manchester United. And he's about to walk away from free, for free. And as I said, what happened there today was just the end of the tether. For United fans. And a day that where we protested against the ownership of the club. Fans there really showed their discontent towards Paul Pogba. And as I said, he was probably scapegoated for it. But the reason maybe it happens to Paul Pogba a little bit more. It's three years in, man. Three years in. Fred has been absolutely abused by United fans at certain points. What's happened? He's got his head down and he's worked. He's worked. And he's won over some United fans. I just do not think you can say the same thing about Paul Pogba. And it has got, I have to say, it's got fuck all to do with race in this situation. We're simply talking about two footballers. The one thing I would say that I do find very strange about the whole thing is let's see what happens after this situation now with Paul Pogba and he was booed. Remember when Maguire was booed for England, which I thought was a bit odd. I mean, what's, well, I don't know why he's getting booed for England. He plays well for England. And then United came out in support. England came out in support. Harry Kane came out in support. Like, all of a sudden, like, we just offended his entire family in front of the whole nation. He just got booed. It was a bit of an overkill reaction with the Maguire situation. I'd be interested to see if anything happens post this Pogba situation. But I've just... I don't like booing, as I said. As a, just as a rule of thumb, I just think it's a bit weird, a bit odd. But it's just where Manchester United are at at the moment. It's unfortunate for Paul Pogba that he was scapegoated, that he became that, that person that it was aimed towards. But it could have been anybody, but it wasn't. It was Paul Pogba. And as I said, in the same way that Harry Maguire gets extra scrutiny from me, and as, as, as he has done, it's because he's Manchester United captain. Paul Pogba gets extra scrutiny from Manchester United fans because of the player he is, because of how damn good he is because of who we see playing for France and who we maybe don't see playing for Manchester United. Now, that's definitely at least down, partly due to the system, the squad, what we're playing. It's just it's a more comfortable environment for Paul Pogba out in France. But at the same time, you have to... He doesn't give a fuck. By comparison between France and Manchester United and how much he wants to commit himself, how much he wants to put into being a Man United player. And that is why I'm completely and utterly done with the Paul Pogba situation. I said this a while ago. I said, it, I, I know how good Paul Pogba can be and, and is on a, and is sometimes, but 
I just want United to move on and for us to not have these sideshow stories anymore. Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard, Edinson Cavani. I'm done with it all. I'm done with it. I'm just, just let them lead the club. Let them walk out. We tried everything to get Paul Pogba to sign that contract. And instead of him saying anything, Paul Pogba has taken, always taken a very standard stance when it comes to the media. Remain silent until he goes away on international duty with France. He gets asked the questions. He does answer the questions. But he always just it always feels like just a little poke and a little jab and a little jibe between Paul Pogba and the United fans. And the United fans just... I, I said this in my match reaction, and I've said it all along. So it's very hard to defend. And get into an argument with to defend any of these United players. And I wouldn't get into an argument to defend Paul Pogba. I want him to leave the club. I want Lingard to leave the club. I want Cavani to leave the club. I want Mata to leave the club. Not all for the same sort of situations and reasons, but I want them all to leave the club. Grant to leave the club. Phil Jones to leave the club. Anthony Martial to leave the club. I just want these conversations and these situations just to leave United. Let us start afresh. Because situations like this, let's go back and watch it again. Situations like this, it just drags the club into disrepute. It's just not what we need. I don't think so anyway. And I'll tell you one thing as well, right? How are any of these fans getting annoyed that Paul Pogba gives it, gives it, that give, cups his ear? Fucking, if you're going to abuse, if you're going to abuse a player, absolutely expect retaliation. So you should. Good on Paul Pogba for doing that. Good on him for giving it back. Too often in this world we live in now, People just expect to be able to say whatever they want, how they want, and then all of a sudden they're allowed to be offended if something comes back at them. It's, it's not how it works in life, man. Paul Popa has every right, and I'm happy that Paul Popa did that. But I'm just not happy that United has these sorts of stories, that we have to have these sorts of conversations. I wanted to do this video and speak about it because you can't just ignore that. A player of ours, when he got substituted to the, at Old Trafford, and United fans are, are chanting fuck off at him. It's just not really how United have done it over the years. I don't think so anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've got my red tinted specs on. But I don't think I am. And I just want United to be able to move forward now. And just put all these to one side. Let's move on from the Pogba situation. From Lingard. From, every, from all of them. Let's try and start afresh. Because these sorts of lingering things can just bring a dark cloud over the club that we just don't need anymore. It's frustrating. Yes. Do I think you should, you should shout fuck off at a player? No, I don't probably think you should. But if that player then comes back and responds, how can you possibly get offended by that? <laughs> he has every right to do it. But yeah. Uh, one thing I would say, I apologize that the videos you can say are a little bit jaggedy. I need to get the frame rate sorted. I've got a new camera in. It's not completely perfect yet but it's getting there. I want to apologize for that. But yeah. Uh, United, man, it's just, I'm just bored of United being a joke. I'm bored of these sorts of things existing around the club. All I want to do is talk about Ronaldo's hat-trick after the Norwich game. Three points, still in the chase for a top four. And it's not. It's kind of a, it's a side story to what happened before the game with the protests. Great protests, amazing turnout. It's now a side story after the game to what's happened there with, with the Paul Popper situation. Maybe not a side story, but it's just, Distractions have massively distracted United for a long time, on and off the pitch. I want us to move forward and end it, man. Paul Pogba's leaving, and I think that's frustrated a lot of fans as well. We see Paul Pogba starting there against uh, Norwich. We see Jesse Lingard starting. We see Matic coming off the bench. We see Mata coming off the bench. Four players who won't be here next year. They don't want to be here next year. They don't want to commit to the, to the club. So the fans aren't going to support them. And that's part and parcel of what's going on here with Pogba. And the fact that he's been here for so long and that frustration, it just boils over. It's not the first time that's happened either, I don't think, anyway. But I want to know what your reaction to that situation was. First of all, to Paul Pogba being booed when he got taken off as a substitute and then subjected to fuck-off chants by United fans. And also, at the end of it, when he walked off the pitch 
and he was there cupping his ears. You let me know what you think about the whole situation with Pogba. What's your reaction and thoughts to it? You let me know in the comments below. I don't like it. I don't think it's justified. But I want to know what you think.